panko breadcrumbs flathead with some shredded coconut tonight and chips. All right, get started. First, there's some fish. I caught these yesterday down at Brill Lake. Plain flour. I've already put the plain flour in and some salt. And mix this up. I like to wipe the knife off just to make sure that there's no leftover bits of metal on there. I'm not going to cut these into really small pieces today. I might just chop them into thirds. What I'm going to do is dredge the fish in the flour and then I will uh, do an egg wash. I'll just do part, half of these first. I just find it easier in here than in a plastic bag. Um, but what I do do is also keep these for the potty mullet trap. I'm going to keep it about the same size as the panko crumbs. It's pretty good. That looks good. More panko than coconut. But you get the gist. Afternoon coffee. Okay, two smaller free range eggs from my daughter's place up in Sydney. I like to break the egg up a bit first. Add a little bit of milk. You want it thick but not too thick. Look at that. Don't salt your eggs. Salt in there first, but it makes the eggs go hard. The other thing I've heard, put in with your panko crumbs, or without panko crumbs, is either salt and vinegar chips, or leftover Dorito style corn chips. Haven't tried those yet, but we'll give this a whirl tonight and see how it goes. This is where a bit of dexterity comes in. Okay. One hand wet, one hand dry. So in here. Slap him off. Cover. light shake, and then that's it. Rinse and repeat.
that's that part done. I'll just clean up and I'll be back. Now I'm just going to put that in the fridge until we're ready to cook it. Not my domain, but the chips we cook in the air fryer. Isn't that right, dear? Alright, I better. Our chippies are looking good, so let's start. This is our good ideal cooking temperature for lots of stuff. So there we go, leftover for tomorrow. We might have fish tacos. What do you reckon, dear? Oh. I can edit that out if you don't like it. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm gonna leave it in anyway. Time to dig in. 